Now, top government officials, including current and former principal secretaries, could face prosecution should the director of public prosecutions give an approval to the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission recommendations. Uh, speaking at the luncheon that was held at, rather, by the Kenya Editors Guild EACC Chief Executive Officer, uh, Twalib Mbarak said that to date, nine former and sitting governors are before the court for alleged theft of billions of public funds, while a total of 21 former and sitting governors are under investigations. Now, the Kenya Editors Guild also pledged support from the media in the fight against corruption. So we are focusing on county governments, and we have realized that there are governors in counties where they have encouraged corruption to thrive, which include fictitious spending bills, where they don't have some invoices, procurement of uh, processes. They're trying to be very smart. They're avoiding conflicts of interest. So they use their friends to form uh, companies and they give them contracts. And then employment irregularities. We also encourage media houses and media organizations to establish and adhere to strong ethical guidelines. Journalists should be held to high standards of accuracy, fairness, and integrity in their reporting on corruption. In conclusion, supporting journalists in the fight against corruption is not just a matter of freedom of press. It's an investment in transparency, accountability, and the future of Kenya. By addressing the challenges uh, journalists face and providing them with necessary resources and protection, we can collectively work towards a more transparent and corruption-free society.